So today we're going to use the new straps that I got to strap down my trash trailer. So stay tuned while I get it all hooked up. Now, these are really cool. So do you know what these are? These are a double loop strap. One of the biggest problems I have with these kind of um, straps, and this actually solves this because it has a little locking latch here. Let me show you that. You see the, the hook can actually close, kind of, okay? So what will happen is I have to hook the straps like this because otherwise these straps will jiggle, fall off, and then you lose your whole strap. Well, this solves that problem because now you take this and you put it through itself like this, creating a locking loop. And then you hook your hook onto this, and because the hook closes, even if this loosens up, if the whole strap loosens up, you're not going to lose your strap because it's closed, it's hooked. So it'll just dangle, but it won't actually fall off. That's fantastic. I actually just bought a set of these. I didn't realize the set included them. Very freaking cool. Now when I do, for example, a full trailer wrap where it goes around the entire trailer, the two hooks latch onto each other. And when I can't have the hooks latch onto each other, you know, instead of having to put them like this, I did this before I realized I had those straps and I don't want to undo it. I now do this. So the double loop can't fall off. And this can't easily fall off because it's got the locking ring, which prevents the loop from falling out. That is fantastic. Great design. And it comes with a case. I love the fact that it comes with a case. So when I'm done, I put it all back in the case. Okay, you just saw me use the Vehicle X ratchet straps for my trailer. I did a garbage run. We don't have local trash service. We don't have um, city trash service here, so we either have to pay a private company or we haul our trash to the local transfer station where it goes to recycling or the dump. So, as you saw, it came with four ratchet straps. Pretty long ones, too. I was able to wrap completely around my trailer. These are 15, 20 feet. I'm not sure exactly. Shows how much I read the description, right? <laughs> um, I love these things. This is one of the best ratcheting sets I've used in a long time. I'm about to get a little nitpicky on what I'd like to see them do. And I'm doing that not because the product needs improvement, but because it's so good, I'd like to see these improvements. Um, maybe a, a version 2, a premium set. Okay? I think that would be really nice to be able to have a couple of little extra features, because that's how close these are to being perfect. Um, I'd like to see the actual ratchet part itself be a little bit improved let me find one i can show you here we go of course they're all wrapped up so i gotta unwrap one i actually did the right thing and i wrapped them back up when i was done today <laughs> so there's the strap so here is your ratchet strap i'd like to see the better quality open handle that you put your fingers through even if they're on a smaller scale because uh, these are so nice i just like to see that although they do have a nice knurled end with a rubber grip on it so you're not going to tear your fingers apart this part here needs to be thicker this this plate here and this plate here these two plates need to be a little thicker because especially when you get a lot of windings on there what will sometimes happen is that this will push to the side see i'm pushing it to the side and what will happen is this will get underneath of this plate and get jammed up and then you have to pull this back and push it free and that's because the metal is a little too thin um, it's not the metal is not too thin for the amount of mass it's designed to hold 2,200 pounds It's um too thin for uh, User comfort and convenience So if you were to make the metal that this was made out of just a little thicker So it was just a little bit stiffer They would last longer they jam less and they'd be more convenient for the user The only reason I'm even suggesting that is because of how much I like them <laughs> I mean, I'd like to see these things really come to the top I absolutely love the hook. That is so awesome that people just don't... It's it's hard to describe sometimes until it happens to you. You put a ratchet strap on, you tighten it down. But the problem is your load um, isn't rigid. Not, well, what you and I think of as rigid. I mean, we think of this as floppy. Well, the problem is, you know, this can act as floppy under the right conditions. And so you'll have your ratchet strap on there nice and tight, but then as your entire, sometimes your entire trailer or your entire load or the sides of your trailer, they do that little flex 
as you're driving down the road or you hit a really, really bumpy portion of the road. Not like a pothole bumpy, like ruts in the road where your trailer goes like that for a bit. Well, that can sometimes be enough to, you know, and this comes loose for just a little bit as the load compresses and then the strap falls off the little lip you have it attached to and now your strap's loose. Um, they have two ways around that. One, it's got a hook. So first thing that does, even if it doesn't actually go into something and hook on, it's applying pressure. So there's some pressure being applied there, which is going to resist the tendency to pull off. It also makes it easier to put the strap, as you saw on the previous clip, to put the strap around the um, surface and attach it to the top. So that now gravity is holding it on there, and that's keeping it from moving around all that much. Okay. The other cool thing, I actually bought a set of these straps. I didn't know they came with this. It's okay, I can use them for my other straps. It comes with a set of what I call double loops. Double loops are handy because you can put the loop around. First, first of all, it allows you to securely attach the strap to your load so it can't come off. Even if it comes loose, it can't come off. Second, it allows you to attach a strap to something you can't normally attach a strap to. So what if you have something like, well, like this and you want to attach a strap to it well you can't I mean where are you going to attach the strap all right you can't do it especially if you don't want to tear a hole in your object so you take your double loop like this and it goes through itself like this now I'm attached Ooh, kinky <laughs> so now I'm attached and I cannot come loose even if this comes loose as long as this end isn't free I can't get away, okay? I'm attached. And then you take your strap and you attach it to that. And that's where that hook really shines because now this can't easily fall out. It's on there for good until you unattach it. These things are wonderful. They are all... Uh, uh, matter of fact, now I'm going to go buy a couple more sets. I want to keep a set in each car. That's how wonderful these little straps are. Um, I'm even thinking about putting reinforced little openings in the trailer walls. Where I'll, or put U-bolts or I-bolts around the trailer where these hooks will be able to latch or these things will be able to wrap around right around the neck of your trailer. There you go, right around the neck. Even You don't even have to go all the way around. You can have this like this and you can latch onto both halves. The versatility of these things. The, this is great thinking. Good idea. Um, I'd like to see the case be a little stiffer put a plate in the top and bottom so it's a little more rigid um like make a premium set and do this orange do it in orange <laughs> but the combination of these uh double loop straps and the the hooky latchy thing on the um hooks stiffen up the metal a little bit and you got a killer product this these are nice these are really really nice good job on this